This season, and she had another horse that's a winner of three and probably had stake potential before injury brought about his downfall. So, um, you know, I think anything's possible, and uh, I know her breeder Rick Jemison felt this, this was one of the best crosses uh, of his breeding maidens uh, that she could go to for uh, Duke's choice. So, uh, had she not been a young, unproven mare, she probably would have gone to Duke's choice her first season. Uh, he's waited until she's done, produced the goods and gone to our uh, champion stallion. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it's far and away the most fashionable mating she's had. Whether that uh, relates to the most expensive yearling, I'm not sure. Hopefully, for my sake, not. But uh, I uh, dare say it could well be. How much do you suspect, or how much do you think she's worth? Oh, listen, I don't know. It, it, we're at a not public auction, so it takes two people to make this market. But uh, I've got no doubt that she's going to be a million dollar plus And um, just while we've got you here, BMW this weekend. Uh, we've got Managar engaged, he's in great shape, comes off uh, a couple of good weight for age wins and uh, looking forward to it, I think he'll be very well suited.